Good evening, Lizzie boys, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I got another box from the website Kika Goods. This was sent to me for free to review. It's another BJD mystery blind box. This one is called Title Secret Language, and it's these really cute looking mermaid dolls. You can see them on the top of the box here. This is a full case, and it's a lot larger than the Insect Cafe box I got last time. These are the Insect Cafe dolls. They were super cute and still available on their website. Uh, Kika Goods did actually give me a discount code you guys can use. It is Courtly10. You get 10% off your first order with it. Pretty cool, right? So, yeah, this is the box. Um, it says here that the ultra rare is a ratio of 71 to, 72 to one. And she is unfortunately the coolest looking one in the set, and I don't think I'm going to get her in this video. But I do think we'll get these six. These six. So we'll be able to talk about them. Around the back of the box, it's more of the same. There is just some text telling you about the product. And yeah, without further ado, let's just cut right into this and start unboxing. All right, opening the box, here we go. We can pull our first one out and... Yes, these are just super long boxes. Very tall. Okay, so we got doll number one. Fantasy biology series. I'm usually not that into mermaids, but these ones look so cute. Again, I love the pictures of them on the side. Okay, I like her actually. This one's really pretty. And her. Okay, so I guess the two I'm looking forward to most are these two currently. Though, honestly, all of them are cute. Alright, so let's just crack this one open and see what we get. I would like to film the full unboxing experience as much as I can. Alright, and this one... You can kind of see the box. I mean, the doll in the box right away. Oh, I think this is... Oh, it's the red one. Okay. I still like this one, but I didn't think I'd get this one first. Yeah, I think it's this one here. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> they include a thing with it. This is cute. It's cute, actually. Okay, so here we've got her accessories. She's got alternate hands and little clear pieces. I'm not sure what those are for. And there is the bow that goes on her head. And we've got her dress here. It's very cute. It's kind of giving Ariel in a way. I mean, I guess she is giving Ariel in general because she's red-haired mermaid. Um, let's see how I open this. Okay. There doesn't seem to be any tape. I'm gonna have to do this off camera. All right, so there we go, our first doll in the set. Her head is a little top heavy, doesn't wanna stay facing any direction. Um, it's weird, cause like in the pictures it looks like, I mean, I guess the dress is what she wears actually. But like in this picture, you see she's got like a little bra. Oh. Oh, that's what this is. This isn't a hair bow, it's a bra. So like most BJDs, she does have a double joint, which allows for a wider range of motion. She can move herself around a bit more. Her head is a bit top heavy and her hair is very shiny. I like it. I really like her face. It's a very simple and cute style. She's also got little mermaid ears with an ombre painted on. Super cute. Her tail is red and has a lot of little joints of articulation about it. Very nice. Yeah. All right, so let's put her clothes on. She's got little pearl chain straps on her dress. It's so pretty. This is a gorgeous little dress. It's so pretty. So there she is, our first doll of the set all put together. She is super cute. I really like her. I don't know where I'm going to set her down, though. I mean, she can stand up when she's leaning up against a surface, so... I guess we'll just um, do that for now. For our next box, I want to pick this one. I don't know why, I'm just kind of feeling it. <laughs> okay. Peel it up here. 
And this one is a pink haired one. I think this is like the little cherry blossom looking one that I liked before. Um, yes, yes it is. This one is so cute. Okay, I'm happy. This is one of the ones that I said I was looking the most forward to. All right, so we've got her little bra here. Oh, they come with little suction, little sticky things to stick it on with, I'm guessing. Okay, that's cool. I'm mostly gonna just be putting their little dresses on them though. It's more fun to me. This one has such a pretty face. If it would, my camera would focus on her. Yeah, very cute. She gives me like cherry blossom energy. She has a very shiny tail, yet again. And, oh, the dolls do have articulation at the torso. Okay, that's cool. Let's put her dress on her now. This is like a little petticoat to go underneath this piece. So here is our cute little cherry blossom mermaid all dressed up. She's adorable. I love her. I'm gonna set her down right there next to our red one. These two look really cute next to each other. I've decided they are dating. Our next box will be this one. I'm hoping we get the super rare, but honestly, I don't think I will. <laughs> Again, it's just a super low odds. It would be awesome, but there's only six in a box and most likely these things are seated so that I get the full set. And, um, I'm not sure which one that is. <laughs> one of the purple ones, yeah. This is one of the purple mermaids. It is, oh, this one. She's very fun actually, this one's cute. I'm not sure what these little fins right here are for. I don't see any where it looks like they would clip onto. Like, the tail doesn't seem to have anything. They don't have anything on their backs. Nothing in the hair. Like, I don't know, I'm just not sure where those things are supposed to go. This doll also came with this big coral piece around her head, but it doesn't really fit on her like a headband would. Like, it doesn't stay in place. So I'm not sure what this is for. <laughs> In the picture, it's not there. Oh wait, it goes around the back of her head. Oh, okay. It goes around the back of her head. Like this, sort of? Hmm. So this is how it's supposed to sit, like around the back of her head, but it doesn't want to stay up. Maybe I'm supposed to use some of the sticky tack here for that. It looks like they gave me extra. I could try it. I used a piece around the back of her head and it's staying up a bit better now, but still looks kind of wonky. I don't know. Maybe this thing just doesn't want to sit on there the way it's supposed to. I'm not, I'm not sure. Next box. This is fun. I really like opening these. I don't know. It's like fun to open mystery stuff on this channel. I used to do it with like LOL surprise dolls, but I don't know. Just haven't been into those lately. I can't tell which one this is immediately. I think it might be another purple doll. Um, it's the girl from the front of the box. There she is with her pink hair and blue accent color. Once again, very cute. Yeah, I like what I see. This one has a cute little jellyfish charm in her hair. And her hair is done in cute little braids. It kind of looks like a jellyfish from behind, which is obviously the intention considering she's wearing a jellyfish in her hair. It's like Farina from Genshin Impact. I'll shut up now. All dressed up. She is adorable. I really like her. Her hair is not as vibrant and a bit more pearlescent in person than I was expecting it would be. Like, when you compare all of the dolls so far, they all have mostly solid hair colors. Her hair is the least shiny. Her hair is the most matte. Like, she's shiny. These two are shiny. She's pearlescent. And then she has very, like, matte hair, you know? Overall though, they're all very cute. Though I am kind of tempted to switch these two's dresses. I might. Two more boxes, Lizzie boys. Let's do this, let's get it. This one. Is this one gonna be the super secret ultra rare or is it just gonna be the green one and this one that we haven't seen so far? I think it's gonna be these two, not gonna lie. I thought I filmed it, but I was right, it's this one. This is one of the ones I was most excited for, so I'm very happy to see her finally. And once again, in person, her colors look a little different than I was expecting. I thought she was more on the purple spectrum, but she's looking more blue. This one is utterly adorable. I love the bow on the back of her head. Her hairstyle is super cute. 
Her tail is pink, but ombre is into this dark, like, kind of dark blue purple color. It's very pretty. Like, just gorgeous. So we got to put this dress on her. And then she, once again, like these little fins. I don't know what they're for. I don't know what they're for. I wish I did. Yeah, this one's definitely my favorite. I really like her. All right. We're going to set her down here. No, she might fall. Um, Maybe we'll try sitting one down. She doesn't want to do that. This group looks so aesthetically pleasing together. <laughs> like, their colors are so much fun. I don't know. They all look so cute together. On to our final box. I think this one's just going to be the green girl. But again, it would be super cool if the ultra rare decided to rear her head. Because the ultra rare, when I saw her on the website, dude, I was like in shock. She was absolutely stunning. But I know it's not going to be her. Yeah. Yeah, the ultra rare has like black hair. So this is the green one. Yep. There she is. So the way I get them out of the bags is pretty easy. They kind of just pop right out. <laughs> Um, this one's hair is the stiffest so far, but, um, still cute. Her neck kind of cooperates. I like her. I am a little upset it's not the ultra rare, but again, it was like a 1 in 72 chance, so I wasn't expecting it. I was just kind of hoping maybe I'd get lucky today, but my luck's kind of bad, not gonna lie. There she is, our little green mermaid do dolly girl. She has a petticoat that went under her dress, kind of um, trying to show you it. Yeah, this piece down here. So it makes her dress a little puffier, super cute. I still like her. If I put her over here, the um, kind of ombre effect still works with the darkest color going down into the lightest. Or maybe she should be there, no. You know, I'm not actually sure. So out of the whole set, I would say my favorites are this light pink one and this pink and blue ombre girl. These two just look the coolest to me. They all have an ombre, kind of, but the most visible is her, and that's why I like her so much. These dolls do actually have names. On the website, you can see that their names are Dawn, Shimmer, Jellyfish, Rupia, Leaf, Kang Coral, and Hidden Tide. Yeah, Hidden Tide is the one I wanted. She's so cool. She's got white skin and like black hair and this cool headdress and all this just, she looks amazing. She also has an alternate face with open eyes and one with closed eyes. Like, ugh, I want her. But yeah, all in all, I recommend these. They're super cute. If you're into BJDs or want to get into them for the first time, I'd say that these are pretty good for a starting place, especially if you like mermaid dolls. The tails have so much articulation and... The outfits are really simple to put on. And I don't know how to string a BJD, which is why I never do anything with the extra hands. But if you know how, I'm sure it's really fun to swap them out. But yeah, all in all, this was a great line. Thank you, Kika Goods, for sending me these dolls for review. And if you guys are interested in them, check out the link in the description and use my code COURTLY10 to get 10% off your order. I don't get anything if you use it. You just get a discount, so that's pretty cool. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you decide to buy these dolls, let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!